So hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this uh, Two God or Two God, Two God uh, HD dash cam camera. Uh, I've already fitted it, so uh, but I'm going to go through the installation process and also review the uh, the dash cam for you guys. So uh, I mean, there's no point in me really taking this out, but. Uh, as you know, the dash cam's already been fitted. That's the dash cam, guys. Uh, that's my actual mirror at the back, and that's the dash cam there. Uh, it's off right now, uh, but I'll be turning it on in a bit. Uh, let me just go through the installation process. So, obviously, you get, I got this from eBay about two months ago, and I'm really happy with it. It does the job, and it's quite cheap as well compared to like. Um, next base and uh, other brands so obviously this is the two god one two god brand and i only got it for about uh, i think it was 28 or 29 pounds from ebay and yeah it does the job guys and it's it's not just the front camera but it also has the rear uh, cam as well a camera at the back so let me try and show you guys the back camera i'll be uh, doing a close-up view later on but i'm just show you show you the back camera from this angle here so as you can see that little cube there that's the back camera does a very good job um it's high quality i mean high definition so hd that's all that you need so yeah so uh, let me just turn on the dash cam so obviously right now it's plugged uh i plugged it it's just not plugged in so uh, don't worry about this wire that's just my charger let me just take it off so that you guys don't get confused so I'll leave this to the side. So this is basically what comes in the box. And I got this extra because um, I need car chargers. And if you guys want this U Green, it's called a U Green charger. So if you wanna, uh, if you're on your dash cam to work and you wanna charge something else like your phone or tablet or whatever, I recommend this product U Green. Here it does the job. We're very fast charger. So yeah. So I'm gonna plug this in right now. So. There's a red light that comes on and on the screen you can see, you can't really see the screen right now but okay now you can. So you can see that's the front camera, what I'm seeing in front of me, that's the front camera and that there, let me try get a better thing for you guys. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see the screen now. So I uh, can change some the CSI option here. That's half half. It's not in focus, is it? Okay. That's just the front camera. That's just the back camera. And then I leave it on this because um, the main the front camera is the main one, and then the back camera there's like a little square at the front there, which shows you the back camera. So. Right now it's recording in 720p, uh, that's only because um, the back camera is also fitted, so uh, you can't have the front camera and the back camera on 1080p, so the max you can go with both the cameras on is 720p, but it's still alright, you know, um, it still rec it records everything, you can see the, everyone's number plates and basically whatever you need. And if we go to settings... Oh no, I have to uh, go back first. So, if we go to playback, we can see, you know, whatever's happened before. So this was me driving earlier on. So you can delete it, lock it, do whatever you want with it. And you can take pictures as well, you can mute it, playback, you can close it. Format option is, if you want to format your SD card. So right now I've got a 32 gig SD card in there. Um, that's the most like suitable for this. So that's what I got the 32 gig. But if you only can get 16 gig or even 64 gig, but I recommend 32 gig because you know it's not that expensive as well. And so this records every three minutes. So after every three minutes, it makes a new video. Uh, I think uh, you have an option to do it for one minute, two minute, or three minutes. But I I chose three minutes because I think that's the most uh, convenient one for me. But obviously, um, you can choose whatever you want, depending on what, you know. So let's go to video. 
settings so resolution 720p I can't change it to 1080p because uh, of the back camera being installed at the same time so loop record that's what I was talking about uh, one minute two minute or three minutes so I put it on three minutes right now um, well I recommend three minutes because if you do it one minute that's, that's too many files so imagine you go on a like a 20 minute drive is going to keep making a new file every one minute so that's 20 files for 20 minutes driving but three minutes is going to be about six files which is not that bad so uh enhanced night vision i only turn that on at night time because obviously uh, you would not need that right now during the daytime uh switch tone that's just like the tone date stamp so um date stamp is uh when you drive when like it records if you're on the date on it on the date on the actual video so i don't know 25th or whatever you know so yeah um gravity sensing standard parking monitor off i turned it off um so one thing with this thing is that you have to keep it plugged in all the time if you want it to be recording and that's not just with this one actually it's with all the dash cams so that's not really a down point for this dash cam because uh, whatever dash cam you're using you have to uh, keep it plugged in which will waste battery if your car is turned off so I usually tend to turn, uh, plug this thing off during uh, during um, you know when my car's off but obviously my car is not turned on right now but I just turned it on for this video uh, I don't know if you can feel the wind outside guys but it's really windy so um, yeah let's go to the next one language english frequency 50 hertz four we can format and then the screen savers off and then one more option is uh off screen clock is off so that's the lcd time but the timing the date and time you can set it here so let me just go on it date and time you know it's already set up that's the time right now the date and the time oops let me go back there uh, that's the version and default setting restore. No, I don't want to do that right now because, yeah, so uh, that's basically the review of the dash cam. It's a really good dash cam. Uh, let me just show you guys the quality of the dash cam. So, let me just put it at the front camera only. So, that's the front camera. It's not that bad, guys. It's, it's decent 720p. So and as you can see, um, it records quite at a wide angle. We can see that car going there. So that's the actual, what I can see and, you know, quite has a wide angle. And let me go to the back camera. It's decent, guys. It's not that bad. Even the back camera is, uh, even at night time, it's not that bad. I mean, you know, it does the job. So, yeah so installation process let me show you the back guys so what i've done to it is um that's how it works you have to like there's this rubber that comes with it you have to you have to let me focus this so there's one at the top and one at the back on both sides so there's one there and one here so you just have to you know tie it with your back camera and the plugs i mean the uh jacks you have to there's two uh, there's one for this one here and one for the back camera i'll be showing you guys the back camera in a bit let me just turn this off so yeah so it says um we'll shut down after five seconds so it's gonna shut down now to guard monitor where you're concerned so yeah anyways um that's the 3.5 millimeter jack thing so how i've done it is put it through here under there under there under there under there and then it goes through here and then it goes under there under there and then here and that's where it is that's where the power comes from and for the reverse camera oh yeah guys i forgot to show you the reverse camera let me just show you how that works so let me just turn my car on to show you how that works I think that's a plus point to this thing so now that it's on so that's how I usually use it so now I'm gonna put it on reverse once I put it on reverse this comes on so you can so now I'm gonna put it back on normal neutral 
it goes back to this and when I put it on reverse it shows the back camera this is the good thing about it because obviously if you're reversing you can see whatever's at the back is like having it's like one of the new cars where you know there's a camera at the back and then when you reverse uh, I've got a sensor as well so that helps but this is much better because you can actually see what is behind you because sometimes the sensor doesn't detect everything but through this camera here you can see everything and it has the stop, uh, stop uh, sign as well so but obviously mine is fitted inside the car so you can also fit it outside the car like near your number plate or something for you know a better vision but I fitted it here so that you can see the drivers and everything you know just in case you need to you know so I'm just gonna turn my car off and go through the installation process with you guys so so for the back camera what I've done is so what I've, I'm gonna show you guys so so this wire here goes underneath here it's not really plugged in properly but let me just do that right now so you just put it under there depends on what car you have to be honest and it's quite windy outside so I don't know if you're gonna hear me but I'm just gonna go through the thing the installation process so it goes underneath here underneath there 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 and you can see the wire here if you can see it there it goes underneath there and then it goes all the way here you can see it in. just put that in yeah it goes all the way there and then through the back it goes here all the way across across here 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 and you can see it there and then it goes back inside here and it goes inside here 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 here, here. And you can see the wire I think you can see it yeah there there it is and that's the back camera uh if you can see it let me just go through the back and show you guys how how it's connected to the reverse camera So that's the back camera. So that is the back camera, guys. And how uh, how the thing works when you um, put the reverse light, reverse gear on, is that you have to connect. There's a, a, a red wire that comes with it. So what you have to do is connect this red wire that comes with it. So it's already connected to the back camera. So what you have to do is uh, it's already connected. If you can see it. All you have to do is connect this to your reverse light so my reverse light is up here so it's inside here let me try to take that off for you yeah anyways it's not coming off but you can see the wire coming in there and then it's connected to the reverse light reverse um, yeah reverse bulb so that's how it works and yeah uh, that's the back camera it's a little cube you know, it's, you know some people um, decide to put it up here somewhere or better angle but you know that's where I decided to put it so yeah guys um, that's basically it guys that's I've basically told you everything about the camera and how I've installed it but uh, uh, the reverse light uh, the reverse camera installing it on like uh, big vehicles like a 4x4 or a van uh, you might need to get a longer wire because my car's quite small so it's easier to install but yeah uh, thank you guys for watching this is the this has been the two guard dash cam review and installation video so yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, and hope this video has given you some insight of the camera um please leave a like and comment down below what you guys think of the camera and yeah um thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video